Welcome to the season 2 recap of Star Struck. Instead of getting off at the airport bus stop, Jessie stays on the bus with Tom, skipping her flight to New Zealand. Jessie and Tom decide to spend the day together sightseeing in London. They return back to Jessie's flat to find Kate and Ian. The four of them go out to eat breakfast where Jessie and Kate talk about Jessie deciding to stay in London. Jesse and Tom continue the day in an arcade where Tom decides to surprise Jesse with a plane ticket for her to go visit her family in New Zealand. Jesse is offended rather than flattered by Tom's purchase of the ticket, prompting an argument. Jesse calls her family to tell them she is not coming home to New Zealand and later proceeds to go to a Magic Mike live show. During intermission, Jesse and Tom talk and make up before he leaves to go film a movie in Ireland. While Kate and Jesse are out eating lunch, they discuss Ian moving in with Kate. Jesse also tells Kate that she declined Tom's offer of having Christmas with his family. While going through their mail, Kate finds a letter Jesse sent. Jesse takes the letter back, explaining that she sent a few people letters when she thought she was leaving London forever. The next morning, Jessie opens her Christmas gift from Tom. She spends Christmas Day by herself in the flat. Jessie sends a voice note to Tom's phone. Tom helps his parents set up his Christmas gift to them, a new sound system. Tom receives Jessie's voice note and presses play, unknowingly broadcasting the voice note to the new sound system, allowing Tom's family to hear the entire of Jessie's voice note to Tom. Kate and Ian return to the flat on Christmas night. Jesse arrives at Tom's new flat to celebrate his birthday and New Year's Eve. Guests start to arrive including Kate and Ian. Tom's brother arrives at the party drunk, wanting to meet Tom's new girlfriend. Tom wants his brother up to his bedroom so that he can sober up, telling his brother that his girlfriend is not at the party. Jesse and Winnie talk in Tom's bedroom towards the end of the night officially introducing themselves to each other. The next morning, Jesse helps Tom clean up after the party and they agree to stay together and call each other boyfriend and girlfriend. Jesse has a brief pregnancy scare. While Tom is in Ireland to film a movie, he and Jesse decide to try phones. During the call, Jesse receives another call. She answers, thinking it to be food delivery. Instead, the call is from her ex-boyfriend Ben who tells Jesse that his grandmother died and she is invited to the funeral. Jesse accepts the invitation and goes to the funeral. At the end of the funeral, Ben invites Jesse back to his family's house, which she accepts. While playing a game, Jesse trips and breaks her arm in Ben's bedroom. Jesse and Tom finally catch up over the phone and talk about the day they had. At Tom's flat, Jesse and Tom play a game of Scrabble against Kate and Ian. Later, during her shift at the cinema, Jesse sees Ben. Ben visits Jesse in the projection room and offers her another part-time job at the library where he works. Back at the flat, Jesse tells Tom that she has a new part-time job, but does not mention that Ben was the one to offer her the job. Kate comes back to the flat and encounters Tom alone, taking a break from fighting with Jesse. Kate misunderstands the reason for the fight and proceeds to tell Tom that Jesse has been working with Ben. Jesse and Tom continue the argument and decide to split up. Ben comes over to comfort Jesse after the fight and Jesse realizes that Ben still has romantic feeling for her. Three months later, Steve and Sarah have a pre-wedding night out with Jesse, Ben, Kate, Ian and Joe. Tom shows up for the party as Steve had previously invited him not thinking he would actually come. Tom and Jesse exchange pleasantries and meet up with the group to play and Jesse does not. The group goes to a lake and uses two boats to paddle around. In one boat, Jesse talks to Kate, Joe and Sarah about her relationship with Tom. In the other boat, Tom and Ben introduce themselves to each other and are accompanied by Ayan and Steve. Kate tells Jesse some hard truths which makes Jesse get out of the boat and start wading in the water to talk to Tom. Tom jumps in the water to be with her and they profess their love for each other. Thank you for watching the recap and if you liked it then please give a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel.